Stop what you're doing right now because before you decide to buy an RTX 4090 or 4080, you might just want to watch this video. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a powerful online platform from which you can create your website fast and easy. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through members-only content, manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all in one easy-to-use platform. Not only that, but Squarespace allows you to truly create an online community through the use of its powerful blogging tools, ability to display social media posts right on the website, and extensions to help you manage inventory, promote products, and streamline bookkeeping. So if you're interested in a great website creation tool and you'll want to support the channel, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash graphically challenged to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So the RTX 49 has been out for a little while now, and while there's largely been no issues with the card, actually recently on places like Reddit, there's been a number of posts showing that the new 16 pin connector has been actually melting which is obviously going to be a huge issue as not only can it do things such as basically brick your video card or possibly even fry other components in your system, but in a worst case scenario, it could actually start a fire. So obviously this is something that nobody wants to see and it's going to be very concerning when you see photos like this popping up online. And of course, because we're seeing these photos, a number of people have been in an absolute panic over the whole situation and honestly, I can understand why. However, I think in this video we have to discuss, you know, how bad is this really? Is this something you should be concerned about? And what can you do if you're buying an RTX 4090 or 4080 to stop this from happening to you? So first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the images that were posted online and go over some of the concerns that could be around this new 16 pin connector. So if we go ahead and we take a look at a videocards.com article, what you can see here is there's a number of photos and starting off with the first one, you can see that on this 16 pin connector, just one of the pins here did indeed melt on what appears to be an RTX 4090 Tough. Now, if we take a look at another image, we can see this one's a lot worse, where it seems like almost the entire left part of this 16 pin connector did indeed melt. And then they also included something from PCIe SIG that shows that they did find some of these cables melting. And of course this is gonna cause some amount of panic in people because yeah, that's really, really bad to be seeing images like this. And in fact, there's another image that was posted over on Twitter by Hassan that shows another 4090 that has had a similar issue. And this time it looks like it's actually even worse than the other images that we just took a look at. Now, if you do take a look at his rig here, it doesn't seem like there's anything necessarily going wrong here. However, I do want to point out, if you do zoom into his card, we can see that it does appear that it's fairly close to the glass panel. Now, we don't have any other images of it, but if I was to guess, I would say it's probably too close to the panel, and that whole adapter is probably being bent a little bit more than it really should, because if we go ahead and we take a look at this image that was posted over on Twitter, we can see there's actually a guideline on how you should be installing this brand new connector and what we can see here is that apparently you're not supposed to bend it vertically and you're definitely not supposed to be bending it horizontally either as this can cause an issue where there's going to be an uneven load at the end of the connector and especially if the connector itself wasn't made perfectly this could definitely be causing some issues so if you are someone who's going to buy an RTX 4090 or 4080 the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is definitely do not bend the connector anywhere near where it's going to actually be connecting now it's one thing to be bending the whole connector maybe throughout the middle of it, but when you start getting closer and closer to where it connects, if you bend it, especially if you bend it aggressively, yes, that can cause issues, and that's always been the case with any cables that draw a lot of power, you just shouldn't be doing that, so definitely keep that in mind, and this is going to be an issue with the RTX 40 series, because the RTX 4090 specifically is so big, especially if you take a look at some of these AIB models, it's going to be coming really, really close to the edge of the case, so this could be an issue for you, and you might want to look into stuff like some 90 degree adapters, so you don't have to worry about this. But now I think we have to discuss, you know, just how big of an issue is this really? Is this something that we should be panicking about? And honestly, I do believe there is some amount of concern, but maybe it's being a little bit overblown and we'll discuss that in a second. But actually some of the concern I think was actually well highlighted by a video that was posted over on YouTube by Buildzoid where he actually goes ahead and takes a look at the cable and explains why it probably could have been made a little bit better and a little bit more user friendly. And honestly, I do agree with him there. However, in my opinion, I think people are getting way too concerned about this new connection.
connector because we do have to remember that the RTX 3090 Ti also was using this connector in the form of an adapter. And in fact, I believe every single RTX 3090 Ti, now maybe I'm wrong, but I believe they all were actually using this adapter and I wasn't really seeing too many issues. And you know what? I don't think it would make any sense that all of a sudden the RTX 40 series is going to be having way more issues because even the 4090 is drawing a similar amount of power to the RTX 3090 Ti. And in fact, in some of the reviews I was watching, the 3090 Ti was actually drawing more power. So I think honestly, it's coming down more to maybe some luck of the draw type of stuff, as well as maybe people bending their pins a little bit too much when it's getting too close to the edge of their case, like we talked about earlier. Now, actually guys i do believe that a lot of this is coming down like i just mentioned to luck of the draw i think there are actually some bad cables or maybe some bad cards that are ending up in the hands of gamers and unfortunately this is something that happens from time to time when a new product launches sometimes things just get rushed and you know what guys it's not something that we should accept this is definitely something that nvidia should not be having going out the door or aibs or whoever's responsible but the reality is this stuff is made by humans and humans do make mistakes again we shouldn't be necessarily turning a blind eye to it, but it's something that is just a reality of life. And if we go ahead and we take a look at another image that was posted over on Twitter, I think this is actually a really great example of something that can end up happening and could cause a major issue because if we take a look at this image, you can see that this power connector actually has one of the pins not even fully in it. It looks like it completely frayed and got disconnected. And this is the type of thing that can happen to basically any cable. Now it's going to be less and less likely if the cable has been on the market for a longer period of time, because at that point you would expect that they probably got their processes down and they're probably going to have less issues. But when new stuff does hit the market, stuff like this can happen from time to time or possibly even shipping damage can cause stuff like this to occur. Or maybe if you're just overbending it, yeah, you could maybe see something like this happen. Although that definitely shouldn't be the case. It should be being made a lot stronger. So stuff like this does not happen. But if you are plugging in a cable, look out for loose stuff like this as that could definitely cause issues. But finally, guys, the reason as to why I believe this probably isn't going to be a major issue that's going to require a huge recall and isn't something you should be too worried about as long as you're not bending your cables too much and you're inspecting them before you're plugging them in is well honestly this isn't a new thing we've seen melted cables for a long time on top of the fact that we've been using this cable with the 3090 ti with no issues i mean if we take a look at this google image result that was posted over on twitter you can see a lot of eight pin cables that have also been melted and there's a number of reasons as to why this can happen uh just like we mentioned earlier with potential issues coming out of the factory or maybe things get bent too much stuff like that it can just happen it's something that can happen it's something you should look out for when you're plugging in your cables and this isn't a new thing so really Realistically, guys, yes, there are some concerns around the 16-pin connector, but I think it's maybe getting overblown just a little bit. And honestly, in my opinion, I think that the 16-pin connector is a great cable. Could it have been better? Sure, it probably could have been made maybe a little bit bigger, and it could have been made with a 90-degree adapter out of the box, or maybe just made in a way where it's a lot harder to bend it and damage it. However, I personally like the 16-pin connector because it means that I can actually go out and buy a power supply that allows me to use just one cable going to to the video card instead of four and for me that's a big deal i really like that it simplifies things it makes cable management a lot better and honestly i think it looks great so i really like the 16 pin connector and i hope they continue to use it and maybe they just go ahead and make some minor adjustments to cables going forward just so that less issues do end up occurring but if you're someone who's worrying about your rtx 4090 completely frying i don't think that's going to be the case and i'll leave you guys with this quote from some people who are true professionals when it comes to inspecting power supplies now this comes from hardware busters and they say, quote, if there was really a problem with the connectors, the engineers at NVIDIA wouldn't have given the green lights for the cards to go out into the market. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think the 16-pin connector is a fire hazard or do you think it's going to be just fine? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.